Hey everyone, okay, so today we're gonna to be doing an in-depth look at makeup for men, in particularly improving the skin and just making it look more beautiful, more even. So, generally speaking with men's skin, the, a less is more approach is really, really key to achieving a look that looks realistic and it's undetectable. So first thing we're gonna do is use a mattifying primer. Now I'm gonna be using this one by NARS and it is soft matte primer. And I'm gonna apply this with my fingers and I'm gonna concentrate it on the T-zone area because that tends to be the most shiny and just smooth it in. I haven't got any moisturizer on or anything else as my skin is oily. So this is the only thing currently on the skin. Now, generally speaking with men, they tend to wear either collars, but the majority of the chest doesn't show. So you really need to make sure that the foundation matches quite well to the neck area. Now I'm gonna be using NARS Soft Matte in the shade Light or Fiji. And you really, really wanna err on the side of caution. That's too much. So, see that little bit there? That's too much. What you wanna do is dot it onto the outside corners and inside portion of the face, just like that. No more is needed. I'm gonna take my number two brush. Come on in focus. Oh, this eye thing is very good, but it's very annoying, I'm sorry. Now, you're gonna take your brush and you're gonna to start to work it into the skin. And I like to just do one section at a time and really, really work it into the skin. Get it into the hairline and you're kind of shoe shining it into the skin. And the goal here is not to eradicate every single thing on the face. It is just to perfect the skin. And then we'll work on the rest of the face, bring it down into any facial hair across the entire eye area. Work the other side all over. So you're hitting everything. And we can always add more, but it's more difficult to take away. Don't forget to get the tops of the mustache area or any facial hair here and then work the nose. And again, the goal here is to make the skin more even, not to eradicate every single discoloration or patch of redness. Okay, so I'm gonna take just a touch and I'm actually gonna push it into the beard line and really work it in here because this area for me tends to get red. So work it in. and then really work in right into the hair as well. I'm just gonna take a touch more just around the nose area. So you can get a bit red. And again, really make sure you're working it into the skin, working it into the hairline, okay? Really make sure it's kind of going up. Okay, that's more than enough. And when in doubt, blend more. So now you're gonna need a dry sponge. <clears throat> with a triangular dry sponge, I now want you, with light pressure, to go over everything you've just done Eyelids, everywhere, facial hair. What you're doing here is actually removing some product. You do not want it to be visible. No one should know you've got anything on. Great, so what we're gonna do now is there's two options when it comes to men. I prefer to err on the side of color, brightness, than I do bronzer. You can't just put foundation on or concealer and expect your skin to look good because it washes your face out. 
you need to add some color back. But I've missed a step. We're just gonna add a tiny bit of concealer. Just gonna stick with NARS here and I'm gonna use their soft matte and I'm gonna use the tiniest amount. You only wanna apply concealer where there's darkness. I'm gonna apply it to the inner corner and this area doesn't move. And I'm gonna pat it with my finger to blend it into the skin and just to add lightness to that area of the face. It shouldn't be overly visible and you should blend any hard edges. Tiny touch on the outside corner as this can be discolored on a lot of people. Just adds a small amount of brightness. Now back to the color. If you're gonna use bronzer, you have to then bronze the neck. Because men tend to wear shirts and things like that, it's not always the best option because it can get onto clothes and it's just, I prefer to use color. So we're gonna use blusher. So I'm gonna use this one by Clinique and it's just a twist up one. And I'm just gonna do this. I'm gonna go across the nose and above the eyebrow. And with that same brush that we use for the foundation, I'm just gonna buff it in. And this just adds a really small amount of color back to the skin. And you really wanna add color back once you've kind of even the skin tone out because it just can look really, really ghastly and sickly. When people talk about wanting flawless skin, they aren't just talking, they always think it's even skin, but it's not, it's talking about the whole, the whole face as a whole, not just, because if you've just got 100% even skin of one tone, it's not gonna look good. And that just adds back a, a, a touch of healthiness to the skin. When it comes to the eyebrows, what you wanna do is just brush them up and you're just looking for any areas of sparseness. You don't wanna overfill a brow, particularly a man's brow, because it can have a very hard effect. And men's brows tend to be more masculine anyway. So you're literally looking at filling in just any areas of sparseness. And you just wanna fill it in lightly. And remember that brow pencil actually goes on the skin. It doesn't go on the hair. And you just wanna comb it through you're just looking at filling in those blank areas. Just, it's a tiny, tiny, tiny enhancement. It's nothing major and it shouldn't really stand out, but you're just filling in those gaps. And then you're blending it through. Now there's a couple other things that we can do. First thing we need to do is to take a toothbrush. This is just, you know, a little toothbrush. It's nothing exciting. I got it from the supermarket. And you're just gonna comb through any facial hair to make sure that there isn't too much product or foundation clinging to it. The next thing you can do is to use this product here and it's called a water color. It's by Grimace Makeup and it's just a black color, like a black cream. And you take a stipple sponge and you can start to enhance the structure of the face. So you just take it in and kind of move it in, make sure there's not too much. Now I like the fact that there's gray in my beard, so I'm just gonna start to very lightly work it along the outside corners. And this just gives structure to the jaw area and it makes it look more defined than it is. It's basically a man's way of contouring. And it can be very subtle, but at the same time, it just adds structure to the jawline and then just give it a slight comb through. When you deal with eyelashes, one of the things to avoid is using overly heavy mascaras. I like to use a cake mascara 
and you basically apply a tiny amount of water to this and then you just go through the lashes. It just darkens the lashes, nothing else. So you just take a spoolie with a little bit of water in it, you move it around, then you take off any excess product on the back of your hand. You want the tiniest amount here because the goal is to make the lashes look darker without adding any texture to them. You can also do this with a black eyeliner. So you're just adding depth at the lashes. By creating darkness here, your eyes are gonna stand out more. They're gonna look whiter and just very nice. And that's it. It doesn't look like there's any mascara on the eyes. It's very subtle. A really nice way of adding back some realism to the skin is to take a freckle pen and you just want to dot it over the bridge of the nose and then with your finger tap it in and then just re-dot it. Don't be neat with it. The goal is to add back these imperfections. That's it. And it just means that the skin looks more real because you're seeing texture come through the skin. The final step is to add powder so that the small amount of foundation we use lasts all day. So I'm just gonna use a triangular wedge and I'm gonna take some loose powder and I'm just gonna pat it onto the skin and I'm concentrating on the T-zone and then moving it out. Right down the T-zone, so all the areas that tend to get the most shiny. And then move it out. Don't worry about the excess. We'll knock that off in a moment. But this ensures that it won't go anywhere and that the skin looks matte. And then as the day goes on, your own natural oils will come out and that's fine. Now, any excess product, you now vigorously sweep across the skin. It will remove all the excess and your skin is done. And you now just look healthier and fresher. And that is the goal when dealing with makeup for men, in my opinion. It's to look healthier, it's to look fresher, and just give the illusion that your skin is more beautiful than it really is, more even, has more color in it, just looks overall perfected. And that is the goal. It, it looked like quite a lot of steps, but it's actually a really simple process. You need a foundation, a concealer, a powder. You need some color, whether that's bronzer or blusher. You need something for the lashes to darken them that's not gonna add texture. So either that cake eyeliner or just any eyeliner, black eyeliner pen will, will absolutely do. You just run that through the lashes. Freckle pen is great because it adds realis realism back to the skin. And that's it, it's a very simple process. Thanks for watching, appreciate your time. And I'll see you all soon, bye-bye.